Good morning. Today is September 10th, 2021. Um, I wanted to do a very quick review of the trellis system using the bamboo poles. And I will try to keep this very short. Um, basically, 110% would do again. Um, the only things I would consider and maybe do differently next year are the spacing considerations here. I... Well, one, I think there was some settling that happened because this seems a lot wider than it was initially. That end over there, you can see, is a lot more, a lot more narrow. But um, I did not, I did not keep in mind how wide the plants would go. So this is the honey nut squash, the last of these hanging in here. I'll probably be taking those down today. And in their prime, which was basically up to like a week ago, these leaves billowed out. So yes, the plant is growing vertically. I have a little piece of fencing in here um, that I trained the vines up. So it, they grew up vertically, but on their way up, they put out side vines and just the regular, the, the leaves coming off the actual vine, they, you know, that's like a 10, 10 inch foot long leaf and it would billow out. And on this side, I had the watermelons. And same with that. These were all growing upright. Pardon the amaranth. But there's still some outward growth. And that made it really, really difficult to get in here. And I had this little acorn squash. It's not making it. It's doing its best, but... Um, so I had acorn squash here. I had a yellow zucchini over here. We had a lot of vine borers. It was really, really challenging to get in there, get them out. Um, I had some other stuff over here. I can't even remember. Oh, I had a Sierra, Sierra gold cantaloupe over here. And, um... Yeah, it was just really, really, really overcrowded, and it's not good for the airflow and air circulation. You want you want them to be able to get in there, and um, the, you want the leaves to be able to dry out and all of that. And then in this second row, you can see right down there, I still have one lone cucumber. Um, this was so much more challenging. This spot was even more narrow. And, oh, look at that cucumber doing its thing. Um, again, vertical cucumbers. I had maybe 10, 10 plants initially coming up through here. And, ow, okay, there's another thing I gotta do here. Make sure you don't leave a really long stake hanging off the edge because, especially if it's like your head height, um, I typically wear hats to protect my you know, sell from the sun, but I've walked into this so many times and it's really difficult, at least using the clippers I have to cut it once it's already up. Don't know how I made that oversight initially. Here's another example. Um, you can see it's only like five inches or so off from there. I'm not going to walk into that, but this one is just like just a little too short that I can't make it under without hitting it. So make sure you check everything before you go to all the effort to tie everything in and get it situated. So here it was another poorly, poor choice of mine to spare myself some um, effort. I shared a hole or two. So two bamboo poles went into one hole. These are all uh, a foot into the ground and my soil is rocky and muddy and clay and I thought let me just one hole two bamboo poles make it a little easier on myself but it's just it's so challenging like climbing over that to get in every day um so and same here cucumbers were coming up filling out the vines on this side were coming up and filling out and you just it was really really difficult to get through here then i had the sunflowers that are desperately needing pruned um, a pruning but 
And I thought, well, I have this little path back here, but once the sunflowers started growing, it just was not wide enough. I always sort of sacrifice um, walking space for plant space. And it's just, I think this is the last year I do that because it doesn't really pay off in the end. Um, you can't tend to the plants like they need to be tended to. Also, we are coming off of the storm Ida and then a storm a few days after that. So these sunflowers got really, really beat, but there's a lot more, a lot of blooms still, still hanging in there. And then let me quickly just go over to the tomatoes. Um, no complaints at all whatsoever. These all were cut about nine feet tall, I think. And again, went in a foot deep. Poles, like the cross crossbar here is about six feet, six feet tall. And um, I did struggle with what, what rope or twine to secure it with. I, ooh, oh no, I initially did the regular gardening twine, the jute twine. Um, but I did have it snap a few times with these string tomatoes. And that that's made me a little nervous. So I also use this white nylon twine and I'm not a, a knots person, knotsman. Um, so I suggest if you're going to use this, know how to tie like nylon fancy knots or something because these come off like really easily. And we had a lot of birds pulling at them in the spring to use in to use in their nesting. Um, so that was a little. It's you know I, I'm looking for something halfway, something with the durability of the nylon. I love the natural quality of the jute. Um, but something somewhere in the middle. Maybe I'll braid them together and then and then secure everything next year. But and then the only other thing is that I would definitely do more bit with the bamboo. So I would do a bamboo support for the sunflowers. Um, again, all the rain, all the weight from the drying sunflowers um, these would really benefit from a even if it's just a pole on either end and then a cross pole crossbar cross pole whatever um, to give them a little more support I think you can see here they're all like leaning onto the bamboo trellis in front of them so I would do that I would do another one here on this section. And then this is just really heartbreaking. And I'll need to deal with it today. Um, but if you can see all the cosmos, not all of the cosmos, but a lot of the cosmos came down in the last couple storms. And another, a bar or two going across here would have remedied that and i thought about it and i was like oh no i don't want to bother and now i really wish i had so i think i'll also be using it in the meadow, mini meadow next year which i don't think i'm going to use as a meadow anymore but we'll see more on that later okay happy healthy gardening bamboo shoots bamboo poles are 100 uh, percent winner in my book for this season. Okie dokie.